Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. I'm actually filming this on Saturday night because on Sunday night, which is now, I'll be driving home from Cumbria. I'll be in the steam gathering at Old Hall Farm uh, to celebrate the birthday of a great hero of mine, Mr. Fred Dibner. And I'm sure there is one or two Fred Dibner fans that actually watch my channel. I hope I'm getting quite a lot of video and I want to put some video up later on through the week. Anyway, getting back to tonight's nightcap. My grandson Brett's stopping with us tonight and he comes into the garage and does the draw for last week's prize or this week's prize which is that nice brand new sharpening stone. Hi, my name is Brett and welcome to Grandin's Sunday Draw. Today we are uh, drawing for this sharpening stone. stone. And I'm going to pick from this bucket. Um, not sure how. Dun, dun, something. Put it to camera. I'm not sure. I'm not Dean. sure. Dwayne. Dwayne Lean. Right. Yeah. Oh. Right, Brett, that was great. Thanks very much. I'm going to do another giveaway. This week's giveaway is going to be a nice little more and right micrometer. It's actually a metric micrometer. I'm sure all the lads now are using metric instead of imperial, not a 25mm. It's second hand, it's been used, but it's been looked after. It's actually got somebody's name on. Anyway, I hope whoever gets this puts it to good use. As usual, if you want the chance to win in that, all you have to do is send me an email. That's me, email up there. In your email, just put your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post the software anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I get quite a lot of work done on the steam engine. Um, I find out one or two reasons and why it was making a bit of a knocking noise. Uh, some real bad machining that I have to rectify. Anyway, I'm sure you'll enjoy some of that. As some of your mail come in, I'll show a little bit of that. This turned up a work today. It's actually a box of assorted split pins. It's something that I've used in the shop for quite a while. I actually had no split pins for the main bearings on the engine when I was putting together last week. Anyway, thanks very much, Lynn Robinson. It'll be put to use. Uh, excellent, a, a nice surprise. Thanks very much indeed. I think a really, a really nice thought. Perfect size. Even a sharp edge so it catches your, your finger. This flywheel is a real good fit on the crankshaft. Thanks to my friend Scott who did the machine on it. I did put the key away in. What I need now is two grub screws, one either side, to hold this onto the crankshaft and actually lock onto the keyway. It will be simple just to put a couple of 6mm grub screws in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make two square headed quarter width weld bolts because that's probably what would have been used originally. Now I can't drill straight down into it because you can't get a drill straight through. So ideally, I try to mount it onto an adjustable face plate and drill it in the milling machine. But it was going to be such a, a pain in the arse to set up. I've decided to use a, a real old-fashioned method, which is actually called freehand. So I'm going to freehand drill a hole down through there into the keyway, and then drill it, and then tap it, coat our width off.
And that looks good, it's lined up with the kiwi, I'm just going to go straight through now. The finished drill size will be 5mm or 5.1 It's cast in so I'm drilling it dry Brand new cobalt drill. Oh, yes, that's it. Right, it's bang on right in the middle, just what we needed. We'll go with the 5mm drill now. Yeah, that's absolutely spot on right in the centre of the kiwi. Yeah. Right, the next thing is to tap it quarter width. Worth. Um, obviously, I can't use a, a normal handle on this because it's going to hit the rim of the flywheel. I haven't got a longer tap, and I haven't got a long. I haven't got a, I've got a socket T handle at work. So what I think I'll do, I'll drill this one, drill it and tap it, and put an Allen bolt in, and I can use a a T handle allen key to, to drive it. The bastard, bastard thing, look at it. Good old Maggie. Right, it's actually got it there. If you see this, I'll recess in the inside the chuck, but it'll not make any difference at all. They need some 6mm threads into there. size for six mil thread. So now we've got plenty of room. Tap started nice and straight. It looks good. There's one in each end and they're both at the same angle so they're going to be pushing against each other. This is a new tap but quarter width off. Taps are known for breaking off.
plug top through it as well. Yeah, I'm sure you can see the, the hole there. Right in the middle of the key slot. I've got some square case TV out which will be ideal to make the boats out of. Once again I'm using the, the four jaw chuck, the self centered four jaw chuck, the self centered Sumian square which is a bit of a long yes of wood. Put a different tool in there just to take the square corners off. The tool is a lot stronger than that, that one. That's a quarter of an inch, I'm just going to put a little, a little chamfer on now and then we'll put some heads on to it. Nice new quarter, put what's top in there. Thousands of pounds of the snap on tools at work. Uh, I keep these adjustable spanners in the shop. At least it's a bigger one, it's a decent one.
Right, that's a lovely clean, clean sharp thread. Right, that's one's a little bit of work with the file around corners off and that'll look the part. That looks better than a cap head, definitely. And there's one goes either side of the one on the inside as well. I'm pushing against each other. That's going to lock that under there quite nicely. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> we've ran some bread comes and does a draw for the short run stone. I really hurt that. Oh. Eh, you bastard snivelling twat.